Shadow Binders is back in stock on shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. If you missed our Indiegogo, now's your chance. You can get the books again. And now on with the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkle. She will be back. I promise she's coming back uh, hopefully later tonight or tomorrow. We're going to talk about some of the announcements made during Disney Plus uh, Day, Disney Plus Investor Day. You know, they dropped a whole bunch of logos for a bunch of shows. Uh, that might be another video. We don't have a lot of information on the, you know, most of them, to be honest. Uh, it's almost like a placeholder, like, you know, for a trademark or something. But the most exciting announcement for me, and I'm, I'm, using excitement with uh, air quotes, I think here, the most exciting announcement for me is that they're going to do a sequel series or more episodes of the original 1990s X-Men cartoon. They're calling it X-Men 97. It's coming out in 2023. Now, for those of you who you know watch uh, Clownfish TV with any regularity, you will know I'm a huge fan of the original X-Men series. Uh, to me, that era of X-Men early 90s X-Men, you know, whether it's the comics, the Jim Lee comics, Chris Claremont comics, or the uh, Fox Kids animated series, that is my X-Men. That is, you know, how I remember the X-Men. If I, if I were going to do an X-Men movie, it would basically be the X-Men animated series in live action. That's, that's what I would do. And I, I've said in many videos when we talked about, you know, uh, the X-Men potentially coming to the MCU, that if Disney were smart, uh, they would give us the early 90s team, uniforms and all, you know, ridiculous costumes and and all of that. And it would be great. It'd be glorious. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, but we are getting this. Now, the cynic in me says they're just, uh, you know, mining nostalgia. You know, they've already strip mined the 80s, so we're coming for the 90s now. But I'm I'm curious because they do have a lot of people involved with it that were involved in the original series, including uh, Larry Houston, you know, so a lot of the original voice actors are coming back, you know, it, it could be good or it could be garbage. I don't know. I mean, it could be something that's, uh, you know, uh, really well done, maybe uh, respectful to the source material or, you know, Disney could make it current year, even though it's supposed to take place in the 90s. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to talk about that. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 240,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Almost to a quarter million. That's that's crazy. Uh, we do talk about comics, talk about animation, uh, talk about retro. And, and this is very retro. You know, again, the 80s have been strip mines. So now we're coming for the 90s. And most people, when they think of the X-Men, they think of the 1990s team. You know, that was the X-Men was at the uh, the height of its popularity. The comics were selling like crazy. The show was popular. Toy Biz had all kinds of action figures all over the place. We had multiple arcade games, you know, from Konami and, and Capcom. And that is the era, the perfect era of X-Men for me. And, you know, what the X-Men have become since then, uh, I, I don't even know. I, I've tried to dip back in on X-Men and it's just something, something about plants and threesomes on the moon and uh, uh, prom. I don't know. Uh, not interested in the current iteration of X-Men. It seems pretty boring. There's a lot of talking, just talking. Uh, I love 90s X-Men. And uh, yeah, they are doing a follow-up or they're doing more episodes of, I guess, the, the 90s series. You know, Disney owns Marvel and they own Fox now, so why not? Um, so this is coming from Polygon. New X-Men cartoon set in the 90s uh, animated series continuity coming to Disney+. Plus. Now, this is X-Men 97, and uh, I know I put the tweet out, and we had some friends say, hey, 97, though, this would have been the uh, the Joe Mad era. And I'm like, yeah, so what, are we going to get uh, Marrow and Maggot and uh, Age of Apocalypse and all that stuff? I, I don't know. Uh, Sad Wolverine, put down the picture frame and get ready for X-Men 97. Uh, they said little is known about the project. Um, except for some of the original cast members coming back. And we'll go out to the Marvel announcement. Um, so this is the first X-Men title produced by Marvel Studios. Emphasizes Brad Winterbaum, head of streaming television and animation at Marvel Studios. Uh, what an amazing first step to reintroduce audiences to the X-Men with a look at one of the most pinnacle eras of 
X-Men comics. I would say the pinnacle. I'd say early early 80s and early 90s were the pinnacle, uh, which was 90s, that iconic style that has its roots in Chris Claremont and is celebrated in Jim Lee and then in the animated series. You know, it's so funny. I'm not saying Disney listens to our videos, but we've said repeatedly when we talk about the X-Men coming to the MCU that if Disney was smart, they would basically give us a live action version of the animated series or the 90s comics because that is that is the X-Men to most people. You know, unfortunately, uh, there's been a lot of talk that whenever the X-Men do finally come to the MCU, they're going to bear little resemblance to the lineup that most people are familiar with. And in fact, they might even remove um, men from the title. It'll be X people or X persons because you know we can't be sexist. Uh, even though half the half the X Men are women, you know we can't be sexist to the uh, the X women. It'll be the X thems or something, and people aren't going to go for it. X Men is a brand, and frankly, most people when they think of the X Men, you know they think of Hugh Jackman now and uh, also '90s uh, '90s X Men. Um, so in the early 90s, an action-forward comic book series was seen as a huge risk, but the fledgling Fox network uh, competing with the majors who had existed for decades needed a huge risk. So Margaret Lesh, head of children's division at Fox, hired animation writers Eric and Julia Lewald to take a mature approach to adapting the X-Men comic books that were booming at the time. Uh, X-Men the Animated Series debuted in January 93 alongside Batman the Animated Series and in just a few weeks became the number one Saturday morning program. For kids 2 to 11, the show ran for five seasons, becoming a pillar of Saturday morning entertainment and was cited as a core inspiration for the X-Men movie that hit the big screen in 2000. Was? Really? Eh, okay. Uh, there's really no modern comic book inspired entertainment without the X-Men animated series. Thankfully, word is that the Lewalds have been recruited as consultants on the new series. And yeah, I think Larry Houston is involved too. If you go out to Marvel, uh, Mo but, you know, whoever's left from the original cast, unfortunately, we've lost some people along the way, but most of them are are coming back. And, um, you know, original series director Larry Houston is involved in in some way, which is awesome. And uh, again, this is this is the X-Men. And, I, you know, I hope it's good. You know, I keep you know, people were saying that uh, the announcement reminds them of, of uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation, where we got prematurely excited. And uh, we see what Kevin Smith did there. You know, he kind of pulled a fast one on us. And I, I have to admit, I'm, I'm, I, I don't think you can go home again. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to probably be a very current year show, even if they do have, uh, you know, classic names attached to it. But uh, man, wouldn't it be cool for Disney to actually be able to pull this off and use this as a template for the X-Men coming to the MCU? Or this could just be a bone they're throwing you know, classic X-Men comic book fans like, hey, uh, yeah, we listened. We heard you guys. Yeah, this is a lineup you want. Yeah, we're going to give it to you as a cartoon. And that's it. Uh, live action movie is going to be the X people, the special people, the mutants, whatever we're going to call it. And we're not going to we're not going to have this this lineup. No Gambit, no Rogue, you know, no Psylocke. We can't do that because that's cultural appropriation. Um, you know, uh, unfortunately. So we'll see. Disney's smart. And we know they, they are not. <laughs> you know, there are smart people at Disney, but Disney as a company, not, not terribly smart these days. If they were smart, they would give people this version of the X-Men live action. So we'll, we'll see how it is. We've got like two years until it drops, but pretty interesting. I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Talk later. <laughs>